Becoming a K-pop idol isn't easy, and some of you might already know it, but let me tell you the complete road that each trainee needs to pass to become the idol as in netizen standard. K-pop idols are characterized by the star system they produce and debut under and their tendency to represent each agency according to the visuals, music, fashion, and dance of the agency wants that houses them and have undergone extensive training in dance, vocals, and foreign languages. Korean pop groups have been breaking records, covering music charts, emerging into the Western entertainment industry, and winning the hearts of listeners all around the world. Fans admire these Korean idols due to their overflowing talent, charisma, and visuals. However, what most of us forget to realize is the difficult life many Korean pop idols hold in their past and even in the present. The K-pop trainee system was popularized by Lee Soo Man, the founder of the agency SM. Hundreds of candidates every day attend global auditions held by Korean entertainment agencies to get the chance to become trainees. But some idols got lucky because they were recognized by the agency right on the street. Once trainees enter the system, they are regulated in various aspects, including personal life, physical condition, and visual appearance. Survival and training and regulation take precedence over natural talent in Korean idol production. Here are things that have been and have become traumatic for the idols we admire. 1. The system requires trainees to maintain a healthy image while remaining confidential about their lives and thoughts. What is a healthy image? This means that you must have a clean image from the moment you were born. Once you've become an idol, even the slightest mistake you made in the past can become a big mistake in your career in the future. You must have a pure and innocent image. But you must also have an attractive attitude so that the public will be interested in it later. The concept of an idol is the agency forms you like gods and goddesses who can be admired by fans with superior standards. They must do things that can attract the hearts of fans and must also be adapted to the concept determined by the agency. The agency tries to filter its trainees and asks if he has had scandals and fights with someone in the past, if has he ever been involved in bullying cases, and if has he ever done anything bad. Your personal life will be in the public spotlight later, and it'll lead the cause for the idols to lose their identity, even to the point of affecting their mental health. 2. No distraction policy. The agency has a strict three-year ban on dating new idols, Trainees are prohibited from using their cell phones or meeting members of the opposite sex. And the agencies make sure that the trainee will only focus on nothing but their professional practice and avoid the biggest possible for teenage distraction getting in the way, family, phone, gaming, and romance, boys and girl trainees are strictly separated. On the talk show Radio Stars in 2017, Blackpink's Rosé revealed that boys and girl trainees even may not look at each other or say hello and be in the same room. It's also known that the annoying influence of cell phones is a no-no. According to what many K-pop idols have said so far, artists are often only allowed to access their personal phones after they have won first place in a music show. Girls Generation's Tiffany also shared in Zack Sang show in 2018 that at the start of the project, none of the members had cell phones. So she had to go to the phone booth to make international calls to her parents. This leads to the cause for Idol feels lonely in the future because of too much focus on their idol's life, no wonder they feel alone when they're not with their group or on camera. Like IU, Lee Hai. And Jackson Wong said in the interview, they said that they feel so lonely when they have nothing to do because their only friend and lives are based on the camera and their schedule as an idol. 3. To build an appearance based on Korean standard beauty. Former trainees have reported that they had to undergo plastic surgery, according to acceptable Korean beauty standards. Further criticism of the trainee system emerged regarding the company's strict weight restrictions. 
which often cause trainees to pass out from exhaustion or dehydration to reach the required weight for their desired program. In 2015, Kim Jae Kyung, the actress who debuted with the girl group Rainbow, shared on the show, Same Bed Different Dreams, that during her training years, the agency would check their weight every week, and publicly display the figures on the wall. It was so stressful that the band members would cut their nails, go to the bathroom repeatedly, and spit saliva to reduce their weight by even the slightest amount. Twice as Momo was once ordered to lose 7 kilograms in a week to reach the standard set by her agency. It will cause the idols to lose their self-love. They will think that they're not enough and will do a lot of surgeries, not that I disgrace plastic surgery, but if it leads to the idol changing their appearance and losing their natural face a lot. It won't be good also for their health, like what happened with Park Bomb X to anyone and also leads to anorexia, because the agency told them to eat less and it won't be good for their body. Especially when they're still young, just like Wan Young Ive. But in this case, I think Wan Young's agency didn't push her to do a strict diet, if we compare it to her other members. a training room, mentors for dance, singing, rap, practice instrument, language classes, and the music studio, all multiple by how long it takes for the trainee to become an idol. It can be two years or even ten years. The longer they spent their time as a trainee, the longer the contract and their debt to the agency. Even when they debut, they couldn't enjoy their income because they need to pay their expense to the agency. That's if the trainee is under a big agency. But if they're training in a small agency, they need to pay it by themselves, and many trainees are from not-so-rich families. They need to work many side jobs so they can pay the tuition or their daily spending and at the same time needs to focus for the harsh training. But sometimes the agency doesn't want their trainee to work while they're under their agency, because it'll influence the name of the agency, but then the agency couldn't cover the trainee's lives. So then if the trainee is serious about chasing their dream, they will depend on their family's money. 6. All trainees start underage. Why? Because the younger they are, the longer the agency can tie them up as idols and the more profit they can make while the idols are still focused on achieving their dreams of becoming successful idols who are famous and have lots of money and wealth. Especially now, on 4th gen, all artists are under their 20s. The K-pop industry has a very great business strategy, seen from almost all the K-pop market targets are young people, mostly aged 12 to 25 years, where at that young age mostly love art. 
choose entertainment industry as their dream, still looking for an identity and needs recognition. Seeing K-pop idols who have a glamorous life, perfect appearance, and great abilities. Without the slightest flaw, makes K-pop fans yearn for a life like their idols. And because of that many auditions are held by agencies with terms and conditions that prioritize the minimum age for the candidate. The agency has also calculated how long it will take them to build the trainees into perfect idols which will later be used again as a tool to market the life of K-pop idols so that K-pop idol circles don't escape the times. To work at such young age, they didn't understand anything about legal documents and contracts yet, they will only work based on their dreams and feelings, if the agency is bad. They will push them into a long period contract without earned their income or even give them a penalty if they couldn't give the agency a great result. Even though all the lives of K-pop idols are very interesting, and their songs are catchy, it's a shame how hard and difficult the path they have to go through to become idols. And now K-pop idols are already famous throughout the world. We all feel sorry for the things our idols have gone through, and we all criticize the agency for maltreating their artist. But we are the source of the training process they did. It is impossible for an idol to be created if there is no demand. We also take part in blaspheming idols one by one if they are far from the standard expectations that we form ourselves. This dark K-pop idol circle will be very difficult to get rid of if our minds still want perfection.